Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today let us meditate on the book of Proverbs from the King James Version Bible that is the very important book which guides us. Also, the book of Proverbs, the key words in Proverbs is wisdom, the ability to live life skillfully, a godly life in an ungodly world, however, is no simple assignment, isn't it? Proverbs provides God's detailed instruction for his people to deal successfully with the practical affairs of everyday life. How to relate to God, parents, children, neighbors and government. Everything is there in the book of Proverbs, beloved. I would request you to read at least one proverb chapter, one proverb chapter every day because it is having 31 chapters. And when we read the Bible, the living book of God, we will get the guidance. Solomon, the principal author, uses a combination of poetry, parables, pithy questions, short stories and wise maxims to give in strikingly memorable form the common sense, yes, and divine perspective necessary to handle life's issues. Because Solomon, the pinnacle of Israel's wise men, was the principal contributor. The Hebrew's title of this book is Mish Mishé Shalomo. It is Mishle Shalomo, Probes of Solomon. That is chapter 1, verse 1. Yes, the Greek title is Poroi Mei Salomontos, Probes of Solomon. The Latin title Liber Proverbiotum. Yes, it is Liber Proverbiorum. Book of Proverbs combines the words pro for and verba words to describe the way the Proverbs concentrate many words into a few. The rabbinical writings call Proverbs Sefer Hokma, Book of Wisdom. Yes, beloved, if we see 1 Kings, yes, and when we read and chapter 3, verse 13, King Solomon asks, yes, we read the mighty word that he asks God, yes, the living God, wisdom, and God, who is God full of compassion, love, and mercy, not only gave him wisdom, but richness and honor also. Yes, if we read 1, if we read 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, yes, in 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 12, the verse is speaking to you and to me. Yes, I have also. It was speaking to Solomon. It says, I will give you wisdom, knowledge, wealth, richness and honor. The things which were not asked, God blessed King Solomon. Yes, beloved. So, what we ask our living God, he will bless us. Here the important point is, as King Solomon ha had asked God wisdom, yes, but God had given him more than wisdom, yes. For as we read in Exodus chapter 33, we see that God will give us all the things, yes, he will give us all the things and not only that, yes, he is God full of compassion, who is full of mercy, abounding in grace, who forgives our sins and who is God of truth. Yes, beloved, read the Bible every day, for it is the roadmap of life. It is the living word, yes. And also, whatever your requests are there for today, every day, yes, in the family, and whether it's your unemployment, whether it is the peace that you require. As you read in John 16, verse 33, it says, Peace I give to you. In this world you have many tribulations, but do not worry. Yes, I am there with you. I will give you peace. Yes, for he is the prince of peace, beloved. Yes, the words are true. Yes, we have to just only believe as we read the mighty word in Mark 5 verse 36. Yes, beloved. Yes, whatever your requests are there. Maybe it is sometimes it happens that we cannot express ourselves to others. It is maybe an uh, addiction. It is maybe some kind of addiction. And we are unable to come out. These are the kind of bondages. These are the kind of slavery in today's day. Word, if we say, yes, 
Yes, we are in depths, isn't it? It happens with this pandemic situation and the COVID situation. Yes, people have lost their jobs. People have lost their houses. They are in debts. They are in sickness. And there is unemployment. Everything, our living God will help us and deliver us. For he has said to us, as we read in Jeremiah, in chapter 37, twice he says, I will deliver you. Yes, beloved, he is a mighty God. Yes, and those who hope in him will not be disappointed. As we read in Isaiah 49, verse 23. Yes, beloved, for as for this year, this new year, God is speaking to you and to me. He says from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Yes, I have plans of future, hope, prosperity, peace and welfare for you. Isn't that a mighty word? Yes, I am his witness and I have experienced. There are 40,000 checks in the Bible in cash and beloved. Yes, it is for you and for me. It does not require a signature of an, a higher authority or a king or a queen. Yes, it is freely been received and freely been given by a living God. Yes, for he is the God of living, not the dead, as we read in Luke chapter 20, verse 38. Yes, and the word says to us, ask and you shall receive. Matthew 7, verse 8, and it will be given to everyone. What do we have to do? We have to, yes, just accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we have to just go in his presence, read the Bible. Yes, at least for 15 minutes, half an hour, from the 24 hours that we have in a day. And yes, we have to be. Yes, encouraged, for the word says to us, he hates cowards. Yes, for we have to be strong, bold and courageous, as the word is guiding us from Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. And all these things, we are more than conquerors, as we read in Romans 8, verse 37, beloved. Yes, be encouraged and do not give up in life, for God is there with you and me every second. As we read the mighty word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. As we read in Joshua 1, 1, 1 verse 9, the words are true. And the word says to us, from the beginning he knows the end. As we read in Isaiah 46 verse 10, yes, beloved, he knows everything and he can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. As we read the mighty word from Job 42 verse 2, the book that is the book of life, Yes, that is the Bible. As we read in Revelation 21, it says, yes, it is the book of life. Yes, beloved. And also read the Bible. As we read in Revelation chapter 1, it says, he who reads the Bible, that is the Revelation, and he who hears both of, both of them are blessed. Yes, receive the blessings, beloved. It is for you and for me and for everyone. Yes, yes, it has been freely given and we can receive it. Yes, and as we surrender ourselves, Yes, to God, he will bless us abundantly. For the word says in Psalm 36 verse 8, he will bless us abundantly, not meagerly. Remember, whatever your requests are there, he will take care of you. Yes, for the word says to us in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. Yes, beloved, as the words are true, just go. And whatever your requests are there today, put it on the cross and also, he will fill you with the joy, with the peace, as the joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah 8.10 is true. He will fill you with the, with the peace, for he is the pin, prince of peace. Yes, he is our Emmanuel. He is our Ebenezer. Yes, and he is our Emmanuel. That means God with us. Yes, and he is a banner, as we read in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. Yes, beloved, he is our Ishunisi. Yes, and every authority in heaven and earth belongs to him. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking to us in Matthew 28. Yes, verse 18. Even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Ishu Masiha. Beloved, do not give up in life. Do not quit. Whatever your problems are there, whatever your sickness is there, it will be healed in the name of Yahweh Rafeka. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking to us in Isaiah 53, verse 5. Let us pray. Father, we come in your mighty presence. Yes, as my brother and sister, we all have joined their verses. Where two or three have gathered in my name that I am present, I will hear your prayer and answer you. The words are true, beloved. Yes, as the words are true, Father. Yes, we commit ourselves into your hand. We pray that you be with us. The word says, heavens and earth shall pass away, but my words will not pass away. As we read in Matthew 24, 35. And you are the same yesterday to reign forever. As we read in Hebrews, yes, chapter 8, verse 13. 
Abhayava. We pray, heal my brother, my sister, whatever the sickness is there, heal them in the name of your Varafeka. Yes, for you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Yes, whatever the problems are there, whatever the unemployment is there, be gone in the name of Ishu Masiha. Yes, the all the problems be resolved in the name of Ishu Masiha. The debts go away in the name of Ishu Masiha. Yes, Abhayava. The word says, when we meditate on your word, we will receive blessings and prosperity. As we read in Psalm 112, verse 3, Yes, provide all the needs of my beloved brother, sister. Yes, fill them with thy joy, for these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. As we read in Galatians 5.22, Yes, give us, Bhaiva, the Holy Spirit. Yes, which is a guide, which is the spirit of truth. Yes, and give us the gifts of Holy Spirit, peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, mercifulness, patience, and self-control. And today, lead us, guide us, and help us, as your word says in Psalm 32, verse 8. Yes, Father, we pray, take care of my every brother and sister. The word says, yes, I am the way, the truth, and the life. As we read in John 14, verse 6, be a way and a truth and a life. Yes, we do worry sometimes. What is a future? What is a past? What is a present? The word says to us, as we read, yes, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself, as we read in Matthew 6, verse 34. We commit all our problems, we commit ourselves into your hand. Yes, be with us, take care of us. For your words are true, your words are living, yes, and you are the same yesterday to end forever. Yes, right now you are present with us, Father, we thank you. Yes, and we rebuke every satanic power to leave us in the name of Ishma Siha. Hallelujah. Yes, for there is victory in the name of Father. Yes, in the name of our living God. Yes, Ishu Masiha. Yes, as we read in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31, it says, The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory rests with the Lord. For there is no plan, no insight, no wisdom, no knowledge that can succeed against the Lord. Yes, for you are the mighty God. And your words are true as we read in Matthew 19, 26 and Luke 1, 37. For with God, there is everything possible. Hallelujah. Yes, it is true. We trust in you. Yes, trust the Lord in all times as your word is saying in Psalm 62 verse 8. Yes, and all our springs come from thee as we read in Psalm 87 verse 7. Use us for your service, be with us and take care of us and help us to rejoice for the word is commanding us. Wipe away your tears for you are a mighty God and you are a shepherd. For the Lord is my shepherd as we read in Psalm 23 verse 1. Yes, and the word says, wipe away your tears for you will be a shepherd and... Also, you will lead us to the living waters. As read in Revelation 7.17. And there is no other salvation except for Yeshua Masiha on heaven and in earth. The words are true as we read in Revelation 7 verse 10. Be with us and Father, take care of us. Yes, and the word is saying to us, yes, you will provide all the needs. Thank you, Father, for the mighty word. It says in John 15 verse 7, when we abide in you and your words abide in us, whatever we shall ask in prayer, in Faith, when we believe, we will receive it. Yes, help us to obey thy word and to walk in thy way. Thank you for this time to pray. Yes, and for loving us. This prayer we ask in the name of Ishu Masiha. By the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen and amen. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Isaiah 60 verse 1. As the word is saying to us, arise and shine. Yes, this is Dr. Mrs. Alfred Rathod. May Jesus Christ bless all of us. Yes, do subscribe the channel. Arise and shine, Alfred Rathod and family. Yes, USA. Amen.